Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I say, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. I ain't gonna tarry too long tonight, but folks been asking me. They said, so, so, madam, what's going on with that situation with takeoff? Now, before we talk about this situation, I want to first give you some background information about Takeoff. Takeoff was born in Lawrenceville, Georgia, on June 18th in 1994. Takeoff is known as being the third member of the rap group Migos. And Takeoff is also known as being blood-related to Offset and Quavo of the rap group Migos. Some folks may wonder, you know how Takeoff got into the music industry. So I'm going to just break it down a little bit. As a child, Takeoff was always attracted to music. And when he was in the seventh grade, he began to start making beats, music beats, instrumentals, and things of that nature. His name began, you know, to get around the neighborhood. They said, who is this nigga to take off? Making these fire ass of rap beats around here. They said these rap beats that take off is making is very unique and very different. But not only did take off know how to create beats, take off also knew how to rap as well. So take off, he start performing at gatherings at school in different places like that. And that's when his family and friends, they saw that Takeoff had a natural talent. Not too long after that, in 2009, Takeoff was approached by his uncle Quavo and his cousin Offset, the other two members of the rap group Migos. They said, Takeoff, you've been taking off on them beats and you've been taking off on them raps. Why don't we just get together, you know, and form us a hip hop rap group? So Takeoff said, you know, I like that idea right there. We can do that. And that's exactly what they did. Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset. They end up getting together. And they started a rap group called Polo Club. And they start performing around Georgia. While they were performing in different places around Georgia, Offset decided that he wanted to take off a little bit. Offset said, I, I got other things I got to do. Okay, I don't think I can be doing this, this rap thing every day and things like that. So Takeoff and Quavo, they had a conversation with Offset. And they explained to Offset how beautiful their future could be if they continue to rap, you know, and continue to, to stay in the group. So Takeoff, he began to get serious about their rap group. And that's when they begin to get very creative with their rap lyrics and things of that nature. In the year 2011, all the way to the year 2012, they were releasing mixtapes so people could be familiar with their music. And in the year 2013, that's when the magic happened. The group Migos, they came out with a song called Versace. The song Versace ended up going viral. And it ended up at number 99 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart. The song Versace was so good that the rapper Drake, he said, let me get a piece of that right there. Okay. And the rapper Drake jumped on the remix of the song Versace. And then from that point on, y'all, the group Migos went on 
and they became one of the most famous rap groups in the world. But we fast forward to today, and the news reports told us that the rapper Takeoff was shot and killed. The news report said that the rapper Takeoff was shot and killed at a bowling alley. The reports went on to say that Takeoff and Quavo, they was playing dice and an altercation broke out and somebody ended up opening fire and shot and killed the rapper Takeoff. He said that Takeoff was pronounced dead on the scene. Come on, let's go a bit deeper on this, y'all. Because folks been asking me. He said, so, so, madam, what ancestors done showed you on this one right here? Ancestors said bullshit. You got to know how to see the pieces of the puzzle, y'all, in order to put them together. Come on and let's look at the pieces of the puzzle so we can put them together. When you look at the music video, we jumps right into it. When you look at the music video of the song that got the group Migos famous, Versace, you clearly see, go look at that music video. You clearly see the black and white checkerboard in that music video. What does that represent? I done told y'all. That represents the Illuminati, etc. The checkerboard we see represents Migos entering into the game. And when you really, you know, you really want to enter into the music game, most people already know this. Eventually, you got to do what? You got to give up that blood sacrifice. And sister said, Offset and Quavo, they already knew, guess what? Who had to be the sacrificial lamb. They already knew that. Take off. Take off had to be the sacrificial lamb. Put it together. I said the chosen sacrificial lamb. I told you before, they planned these things years before they carried the plan out. Quavo and Offset, they already know what the fuck is up. I'm going to give you some homework. Go listen to that, you know, go listen and look at that music video. Versace. And tell me what you hear and what you see. That rabbit hole go deeper. So we see they had to enter into the game. And that's what they did. And they already knew who they had to give up. Take off. Let's look at another piece of the puzzle. Not too long ago, we heard different reports going around telling us that the rap group Migos, they end up splitting up. That's what they told us. They said, oh, the rap group Migos, they, 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 they done split up. And they said that the rap group Migos was going to be a two-man group with two people, with just Takeoff and Quavo. And just hours before Takeoff was shot and dead, him and Quavo, they released their song slash music video, Messy. Come on, let's put the pieces of the puzzle together, y'all. When you look at the music video, Messy. Takeoff and, and Quavo did, called Messy. In the beginning of that music video, you see Takeoff and Quavo inside the car. And you see Takeoff sleeping inside the car. And then we see Quavo waking Takeoff, takeoff up. You know, waking him up, wake up. And Quavo start, you know, telling Takeoff that he had a messy dream. He said, I had a messy dream. And then Takeoff said, I had the same dream. He said, I had a dream about walking around a haunted house. Listen to me closely. And it was some little kids. Did the music video start, y'all? And we see Takeoff and Quavo walking around inside this haunted house. And in one of the, 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 the uh, scenes in the video, you see Takeoff walk into a room. 
and you see two men arguing about to fight over a card game. Put it together. When we see all those news reports telling us that the group Migos was going to break up, y'all, what was they really trying to tell us? They was really trying to tell us that it's a sacrifice about to be made. So you got to know how the, the news and stuff, how they talk. You got to see how these sacrifices, you know, be being right in front of our face. They was trying to really tell us that a sacrifice is about to be made. And that song slash music video, Messy, it showed us about the rapper Takeoff's death in so many words. In that music video, when Quavo told Takeoff that he had a dream of some messy stuff, that wasn't no dream. He was exposing the setup. In the messy stuff Quavo said that, you know, he saw in that dream was really about Takeoff losing his life. Put it together. When did Takeoff lose his life, y'all? A day after Halloween, a day after Halloween, right after, right around Halloween, right after Halloween. So when we see takeoff walking around that haunted house with the kids, etc., what did that represent? That represented Halloween night or around Halloween. And on Halloween, they say you get a trick or you get a what? a treat, and they end up giving takeoff a trick by killing him and taking him up out of here. How did takeoff lose his life, y'all? Over a dice game. In the music, Messy, in the music video called Messy, you see the two men arguing about the fight over a card game. Dice game, card game, same type of thing. A game of chance. And when you clearly see, Ancestor said this was a whole motherfucker could set up. And this rabbit hole go deeper. They was already telling us in that music video what was happening. The setup over Takeoff's life. Put it together, y'all. Put it together. Y'all know how we do it over here. Murder by them fuckers numbers. Go watch my murder by numbers video to better overstand this part of the video. Takeoff passed away on November 1st, 2022. Let's add that up, you know, and see what we get. One plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two equal what? Nine. And we do what they do. We flip that nine and we get what? A six. They go our six right there. He transitioned at the age 28. Two times eight equal what? 16. One times six equal what? Six. They go another six right there. Six plus six equal what? 12. One plus two equal three. They go our three right there. I'm trying to show y'all, you know, one of the ways to do it. Put it together and you get the what? The three, six murder by numbers. You know, I got to say allegedly, but she is shit. We already know what's up. Aka. Told you these music videos and things like that, that we seeing, they telling us the truth before it even happened. We just got to know how to do what? Put things together. 